right, today we're going to talk about something a lot of women are just not talking about because they're embarrassed. So there's no reason to be embarrassed. We've got Dr. Uh, Lou here to answer all of our questions about urinary incontinence. And it's not a fun <laughs> thing to talk about, but let's not be embarrassed. So right. Dr. Lou, what is urinary incontinence? It's the involuntary leakage of urine. So leaking urine when you cough, sneeze, if you're just trying to go to the bathroom and then all of a sudden you have an accident. And, and for a lot of women, they must be like, oh, well, you know, this is just me. It's just, you know, what I have to live with. Is this something that they have to live with? No, I mean, not in this day and age. We have a lot of different therapies, whether it's biofeedback, physical therapy, exercises. Some people may have some sort of medical problem where we need to treat. You know, they may have an infection. They could even have, you know, worst case scenarios, a cancer. But overall, most women have, you know, incontinence from childbirth or, you know, obesity. And these are things that we can treat both surgically or non-surgically. But I want to clarify, you don't have to be obese, nor do you have to have had a child to be having these issues. Right. Because right. if I've got to go, I've got about 10 seconds to get to wherever I need to be, and I've got no warning. And I know a lot of my girlfriends who are like that. Granted, I drink a lot of caffeine, and I want to put the blame on that. Right. But, you know, it's affecting women of all ages, right. really. Well, you know what I have? I have frequent urination. Mm -hmm. And I was told by my doctor a long time ago that my, because I'm so short that my Organs are all like jumbled together and it makes me go to the bathroom more. But my, I have a very weird question. You've probably never been asked. If I, I feel like if I go to the bathroom a lot, like every time I need to, that I'm getting toxins out of my body and it's better to go a lot rather than to let it sit and, and you know, How often toxify. Are you going? <laughs> I mean, I'm just wondering, is it better or does it not matter? Well, I mean, the bladders are pretty strong organs. So, you know, it's not going to let toxins just go into your body. So, you know, going to the bathroom when you need to is the most important thing. And, you know, there are women who go every 15 minutes, which obviously we need to help because that impacts their quality of life. So how how frequent is normal? Normal, we, we say about eight times a day, depending on how long you're awake. That's so it? Every, every two to three times, yeah. Every, every two, two to three, three hours. hours. What about that middle of the night, 3 a.m. P? Well, going once at night is considered normal. Going okay. more than once is not normal. Right. So what wow. are some of the things that, that women can do to, to you know, help um, the situation? Well, Kegel exercises, which everyone hears about, but most people don't do correctly. Do they really work? I mean, I they do. They absolutely do. And you know, we always start with lifestyle modifications, meaning cutting down on caffeine, and then <laughs> Kegel exercises, which are you know holding your muscles that control your urine for 10 seconds, relaxing, 10 seconds, relaxing. And I actually tell my patients to use a trigger. So people who watch a lot of TV, every time commercials come on, do a set of three. People who drive a lot, every time you're at a red light, do a set of three. Because these are exercises you can do without anybody even knowing that you're doing them. I could be doing them right now. Exactly. <laughs> That's the beauty of them. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, opening the door for us and letting us talk about something that a lot of women are going through. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we'll be back with more Every Way Woman. So is she getting ready?